Okay, Limeys, I have some onions sauteing here, and I'm going to dice my zucchini. Zucchini takes a while to cook, so I'm going to put that on pretty early here. Okay, so I have my zucchini sauteing. I did one onion and two zucchini, but if I only had one zucchini, I would still do one onion. You can really add any vegetable in here. I think I'm going to put in some olives, garlic, and rosemary to give this an Italian kick. And I have a little bit of uh, radicchio that I want to use up, so I'll throw that into you later on. Okay, so these olives have pits. So I'm just kind of using my knife to get the meat off of them. And I'll probably um, just kind of chew on the pits, you know, chew the meat off the pits. Um, to not waste the delicious olive. This would of course be much easier if my olives were pitted, but whatever. What else? You got the picture? Okay, so this is all looking good. I've got my other pan heating up now. I'm going to fry up some turbot. Uh, this turbot is from Nunavut. And I buy it through a non-profit company called First Fish. If you're in Toronto, I highly recommend ordering some fish through them. Um, yeah, so garlic. It's my favorite fish, turbot. Okay, oops. We've got our garlic. Garlic is antimicrobial. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna put my olives in because those can those can cook a little bit. There we go. Yum. Oh, so good. Cut. More is more with antimicrobial foods. Awesome. Yeah, my zucchini is looking really good. So uh, I'm going to put the garlic in very soon. I think I'm going to go ahead and put everything in. Okay, so this is my little bit of leftover radicchio. I'm just going to take off the dry layer and we eat purple foods when we have lime because they are good for our neurological health and I also love the bitter flavor and it's very Italian I mean I'm not Italian but this is a very Italian recipe with rosemary, radicchio, garlic, olives, yum. Okay I'm going to put the radicchio in as well as the garlic and rosemary. So I just take the rosemary off the stem by grabbing it at the top and, and pulling it off. And yeah, I absolutely love rosemary. It is such a beautiful smell and flavor and it is antimicrobial. I eat rosemary every day. Okay, we're ready to put that in the in the pan. Okay, so we've got all of our veg and olive oil, zucchini, onions, zucchini, radicchio, uh, garlic, olives, and rosemary. I'm gonna add a little more olive oil. Wow. Looks so good. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna add pepper to my dish. Um, so yeah, I don't have any hot peppers right now. 
But black pepper does add a little bit of kick, especially if you put a lot. And I would say if you have Lyme disease and you like pepper, don't hold back. Add lots of pepper. So I'm, I'm just trying to show you guys why like I don't miss greens. Like I really am not suffering here. I'm eating really well. I'm eating super delicious food. And I can't say enough times how much my own energy levels increased when I cut out greens. Like literally to levels uh, better than before I had Lyme disease. Anyway, just me, but I would really encourage you to try it. Okay, so my fish. So this is my, um, my turbot. Uh, I'm going to do it in butter because it will crisp, crisp, up, crisp up the skin nicely. I really haven't done so much research on lime and dairy. Um, I seem to be okay with a bit of butter. It's just really fat. I will try to do some research on that for you all. fish that's fished by Inuit fishermen that have a relationship with this organization called First Fish to give jobs to people up north. And I just really love the taste of the turbot, so I'm just, I'm just drying the, uh, the skin because I want it to crisp up. off on my veg because they, um, they look cooked and I'm just adding some salt. The olives are salty so I hope I didn't put too much salt but anyway, I not about that. Okay, so I've flipped my fish and I kind of just peeled the skin off and I'm frying it up. It'll be nice and crispy. And there we go. Turbot and veg. Yum.